En un descubrimiento potencialmente histórico, científicos han obtenido lo que llaman como indicios más contundentes hasta la fecha de posible vida fuera de nuestro sistema solar, porque detectaron en la atmósfera de un planeta la huella química de gases que en la Tierra solo se producen mediante procesos biológicos, es decir, por organismos vivos, ya sea por fitoplancton marino o algas. We have found uh, evidence uh, for possible biological activity on an exoplanet. This is we have found uh, signs of biosignature molecules, either DMS or DMDS or both, both of which are produced uniquely by life here on Earth and have been predicted to be biosignatures on planets around other uh, stars as well. And we found uh, the strongest uh, evidence to date on a biosignature molecule, in this case a combination, potentially uh, around another star outside the solar system. And that <clears throat> is a, a major breakthrough in our search for life beyond the solar system. Esto sugiere que el planeta podría tener vida microbiana, aunque enfatizaron que no están anunciando el descubrimiento de organismos vivos, sino un posible indicador de un proceso biológico. No obstante, expresaron su entusiasmo por los primeros indicios de un mundo extraterrestre, posiblemente habitado, afirmó el astrofísico Niku Matkusuda, autor principal del estudio 11. This is a monumental uh, discovery. It is very important, but we also have to be extremely cautious. The reason is that this is one of the biggest questions we have asked as a species in all of science, and we have to deal with it very carefully in that we want to be really, really robust in establishing whether this is actually life that we are seeing. We want two things. We want more observations to confirm that this signal is robust. We are seeing it at a three sigma level. We still have three in a thousand chance of it being a fluke. So we want to observe more to get it to a five sigma level, less than a chance in a million, a part in a million uh, of a fluke. <clears throat> but we also want to do more theoretical and observational studies to make sure that there is absolutely no other way we can make this molecule without life. I think it is our responsibility as scientists and uh, as, as part of a society that we want to answer this very deep question in a very careful and robust manner. But the excitement is still there nevertheless that we've got the capability to do it now.